Hey what everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Becca and today I'm so 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 excited because this video is all about our trip down to the South Island. This is a trip that we've been looking forward to since we very first moved here. We're starting out up in Christchurch and then we'll be driving down over two weeks all the way down to Queenstown plus a little dip down to Milford Sound. But yeah, let's get started. Are you ready to go? So excited! Woo okay, okay. Billy's gonna drive. Here's our camper van. We'll do a full tour later before we um I was about to say trash it. We're not gonna trash it. We're gonna be so we're gonna be so good. So clean. Okay, let's go. Wow, this is so fun. I'm already having a great trip. So we're in Christchurch and we're first going to Taylor's Mistake Beach, which I kind of feel like um, we know why it's named that. <laughs> the roads look like this. Everywhere you look is so beautiful. Five minutes from the beach. Billy's doing a great job. Wow. Quick snack while I wait for him to wake up. A little seat just for you. We aren't planning on many beaches here and wow. at the last minute we had a friend tell us that this beach is beautiful and so we were like, okay, why not? So we came over here. It is quite a scary road, but the beach is absolutely beautiful and we just spent an hour or two and then we got some ice cream after it. So now we're gonna leave and we're actually gonna go to Countdown and get some groceries and then hopefully get this van all organized and everything because right now it's just a bit chaotic. Wow. <laughs> this road is so scary. This was a mistake. We are heading over to Akaroa where we're going to be camping tonight at a free parking lot. But we are taking Dyer's Pass because it was a recommendation of a local. It's the scenic route and it is so beautiful. You turn around the corner and it's just so stunning. Chef Billy. So we have halloumi and pesto. This is just brought from home. Who just never tasted so good? <laughs> now we're just going on a walk that's literally right outside of our van. Billy and I keep talking about how terrible and how wonderful it would be to live in a camper van full time. I don't know. We'll see at the end of the two weeks what the consensus is. <laughs> wow! Too fast. Water! Yeah! That's the beach we were at in our first day. <laughs> we're doing it. Godly have loop track. Oh, I don't understand how the water is so blue. Here's our quick lunch before we head on the road. <laughs> we made a, a ton of our oat pancakes. We brought them on this trip and they're great because you can just smear some peanut butter on the inside and eat it like a taco. So it's really non-messy and portable and filling and nutritious and healthy and great. So we have a lot of those. We had those for breakfast and then we also had a bowl of granola that Billy made. It is so good. So he made two big bags of this granola. <laughs> um, yeah, so we had that as our pre-hike snack. We're driving around Christchurch. I don't think we're getting out. We were gonna go get some Thai food that was recommended to us, but they're closed today, so. Instead, we're just doing the quickie drive around to see what it's like. <laughs> I really like all the murals that they have. They're like everywhere. We'll have to come back another time and explore a lot more. We just stopped by some, a friend's house <laughs> and she had a beautiful garden and she offered us some lettuce and we took it and now we're munching on it. Leaves of lettuce and Red capsicum. Cheap salad. Why is all the water so blue here? Oh, well, we saw this beautiful blue river and wanted to come and touch it. 
<laughs> and the beauty of our trip is that we have enough time that we can. So here we are. Okay. I feel like I'm gonna become a new person. Oh, that's not bad. Oh my gosh, they're gonna kill somebody. This trip has lots of scenic driving and a whole bunch of one-way bridges, which I don't really recall seeing too many in the U.S., but they're all over the place in New Zealand. Look at the water. Oh my goodness. Wow. Almost to our camp spot for the night. We're not in Christchurch anymore. <laughs> so we came out to, this is like clear water. That's very <laughs> We're just relaxing. It's still light out, but we already had dinner. And we already had babies. And now, oh yeah, we brushed teeth. And now we're just having some fun until bedtime. What are you trying to do? Okay, you want to press the button? This is something I've been looking forward to. Be able to read a book while he's asleep back there. Just having snacks. Good morning, everybody. Um, what do I want to say? Yeah, we're just waking up in our beautiful little camping spot. We just had breakfast. We're just going to go on a little walk around our camp, and then we're going to head over to Mount Sunday. We were just talking, and this totally reminds us of Utah. This right here, and we're loving it. Just surrounded by beautiful mountains, and then it's just like grasses and a few little shrubs. Not really many trees. And then some little snow-capped mountains over here. It's so pretty. I love this. We're doing it. Oh, I was feeling much braver in my warm jacket as I gonna go. How is it? <laughs> is that cold? We're here at Mount Sunday and it is a beautiful day. The sun is shining, not terribly hot, but yeah, no baby. What do we do with him? <laughs> Just kidding, he's walking right there. So we are going to that little mountain thing. Are you ready to keep going? That's a big rock. You gonna carry that the whole hike? Uh oh. <laughs> What about one and a half? <laughs> Water is so pretty. Wow. On the top of Mount Sunday, also known as Edoras, <laughs> in the Rohan region of Lord of the Rings, and it is so beautiful. So for Lord of the Rings, they actually built all of this up as a set, but then as part of the rules, because this is on conservation land, they had to tear it all down at the end. So that's why there's nothing up here except beauty. We're so excited to watch the movies again to see how this is all laid out, because I kind of remember it like all the whole town being on here but there's not enough room I don't think so we'll have to watch it we're excited somebody's tired yeah. let's take a nap let's go down <laughs> we're in the McKinsey district and I'm so excited This is me being very contrived. <laughs> I really want a beautiful lupin photo. Parked upside the side of the road and now I'm frolicking in fields of lupins. 
and trying to get a dumb photo. I'm not very photogenic. A lot of the lupins are, they're all beaten by the wind. Most of them are gone, so we kind of have to work with what we got. It's your brushing. It's so cool. This is the nice part of rubbing in a camper van. <laughs> Lake McGregor. <laughs> it's just down the road a little ways from Lake Tekapo. Now we're just getting ready for bed, reading our books, playing on our phones. Been a good day. Woke up and left really early before breakfast. Now we're driving back to Lake Tekapo. Eating breakfast. Oh yeah, they're skipping rocks. Lake Pukaki. Well, the weather's not quite cooperating like we were hoping. Oh, it's getting worse, but at least it's beautiful. <laughs> we're just now starting the Hooker Valley track and I'm pretty dang excited. What? It says it's a three hour return. I think it's like 10 kilometers. The Hooker Valley is revealing herself to us slowly. We said we were not going to do the Mueller Hut hike if it was bad weather at all. This isn't bad weather. It's just low visibility. <clears throat> so I don't know what I hope for the weather. Just that we're safe, I guess, is the only thing I hope for. <laughs> Touch the water. Is it cold? <laughs> Snack time. <laughs> Is that cold? Not as cold as I thought it would be. Coming back up. <laughs> Just did that bridge. There's three of them on this hike. Now we're just heading back, so it should take about an hour. And then I don't think we have much planned for the rest of the day. It's so pretty here. And it was also like mysterious and cloudy this morning, but now it's just beautiful and sunny. <laughs> this is a view of the track that we're actually hiking tomorrow from Mueller Hut. We're gonna climb this entire mountain. We're at the end. <laughs> we made it. Oh, why are you so heavy? We're just chilling in our van, eating some potato chips, people watching. I think we're just gonna chill out the rest of the day because tomorrow we're going to wake up and then go get checked in for our Mueller hot hike. Mm. Mm, that's way too many. Good that's man. way too many. Put it back. Put it back. Oh. Not a bad campground, I'd say. We're just waiting for Billy to finish up dinner. Found this awesome wash. Playing with the rocks. Oh, we're gonna go to bed really early tonight. <laughs> um, our baby boy already put himself down to bed and yeah, we're both really tired. See you tomorrow. Is it too much stuff? Too much stuff. Let's see. Let me, let me take this bar. <laughs>
All right, we're doing it. Okay, it's not too cold. It's not too nice bad. We're starting our Mueller hut hike. <laughs> There's our van. I haven't even gotten to the stairs yet and we're huffing and puffing. <sighs> what do you have? You have a big flower and a little flower. Oh, you don't have enough hands for the yellow one. We're done with the stairs. So after the 2,200 stairs that you have to climb up to get to this point, the next section is all like vertical scrambling scree. The nice thing about the second half is that it's not on the stairs, so it feels so much easier on your body because you're using more of your body, not just your legs to go up the same rope motion. So it actually feels way easier and nicer. <sighs> Definitely the hardest hike I've ever done. But I think it's all just about putting one step in front of the other. Keep going. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it just doesn't end. Oh, wow. There it is. Okay, we made it to the top. It's about 2.30. We start at 9.15. The hut's really cute. Is that cold? <laughs> but yeah, he's pretty much just entertaining himself. And I get to sit here and relax and enjoy the view. Lizard. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh. How is it up there? Pretty incredible. <laughs> Highlight of the trip is definitely watching the sunset on the mountains. Way warmer than I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Waking up to go watch the sunrise. We're leaving, had our breakfast, we packed everything up, and now we are heading out. Oh, look at that. It's so beautiful. Alright, time to go down all this terribleness. I am 15 minutes into the hike and he's already passed out. Now we have to suffer with this view for the whole way down. <laughs> There's Seely Tarns, we made it. Hello my old friends. I didn't think I would ever say this, but I'm actually excited to be doing the steps again. Legs are officially jello. Uh, it's not ending, it's never gonna end. We're gonna be on here forever. Just kidding, like we're almost there. <laughs> I didn't think we'd ever make it off. The most beautiful sight I've ever seen. We're in the car park. <laughs> There's our camper van, and that's the freaking mountain we just climbed. It was such a crazy, incredible experience. We made the massive mistake of not camping next to Lake Pukaki as we had originally planned. We instead skipped right onto the clay cliffs, which are so beautiful, but we went in the middle of the afternoon. It was so hot and we were so pooped from our hike and it was just all around a pretty bad experience. <laughs> and then we went to Omarama because that was next on our list and we didn't find any food and it was just bad. <laughs> Lake Wanaka. I didn't realize the lakes down here are so massive. There's gotta be some magical mysteries hidden in there. Absolutely. Um, we just drove forever down the Haas Pass. Residual? Oh. I won't What is residual even? And it's very beautiful, but we didn't realize how far it would be. <laughs> so I think I think we'll enjoy it tomorrow but we're very tired so we're gonna sit down and eat a huge dinner because we're all starving and we're just gonna relax and clean up the van because we've just kind of been going 
nonstop. That's probably it for tonight. We're just gonna hunker down. Last night was probably, it's probably going to be the worst night of our whole trip. <laughs> just because, hey, yesterday we woke up at 5.30 in the morning. We hiked down from Mueller Hut, which is a big hike. And we had done a big hike the day before. And <laughs> so anyways, we were very tired and also we like didn't eat lunch. So we did a ton of hiking and weren't feeling ourselves and we weren't resting. So we're down the Haas Pass right now and don't don't laugh at us, but we didn't get any bug spray. We went to two four squares and neither of them had any bug spray. And so we were just we're 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 out of options here. And so we camped here last night and there the sand flies are just coming through the netting and getting in here. It's not too bad. But we're just imagining what it's going to be like going on these hikes. Anyways, we got a full night's rest last night and we're feeling really good. <laughs> so I think we're going we're gonna to try to do the little hikes that we had planned today. Um, if we get eaten alive, we're just going to skip blue pools and save it for another trip. Because it's not worth being eaten. Okay. <laughs> You're so excited to get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing Thundering Creek right now. Um, Thunder Creek, sorry. And we're all wearing long sleeves and long pants and everything. Feel like not because we didn't bring any. Haven't been bitten yet. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, I thought we'd get out of the car and just be swarmed. Like my experience with mosquitoes back home, that's how it works. So, not bad. And actually, the bites from them aren't that terrible. They remind me of a flea bite, like a little, but then they don't leave any kind of red welt. Not too terrible. I just don't want our baby to be eaten and not understand what's happening. Oh, I see one. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. <gasps> oh my goodness. But this place is actually so magical. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Appalachians or rainforest. It's beautiful. Why you get a camper van? <laughs> Should make your food. Sure. We'll lay it down. Mm -hmm. Hike number two. We're doing Fantail Falls. Came for the waterfall. Staying for the bridges. We've gone on them quite a few times. <laughs> wow, that's a big one. Woo! Well, we're on our way to do the blue pools. All I've heard about this is that everybody jumps off the bridge to the water. Not me. Your girl doesn't like jumping and I really don't like cold water. So, <laughs> takes those right off the list. <laughs> um, Billy will though, because he proclaims to love both of those things. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful here. I was just saying how much I didn't think this was a good idea earlier, but I take that all back now. So the sand flies, stupid sand flies. It's so bouncy. Blue pools. Billy wants to jump all the way down there. No thanks. Oh wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So cold. <laughs> the water's so pretty. It's so cold. Just... <laughs> the water was too beautiful, I couldn't resist. I didn't wear my swimsuit because I did not want to get into the water. But then when I saw it, I had to, so I actually just tripped down to my undies and hopped in. Whoa! Oh, it's so beautiful. Good thing there's so many sand flies here. There also would be a ton of people over here all the time. All right, we gotta go. It's nap time. That was surprisingly fun. I mean, I knew it'd be beautiful, but I didn't expect to go swimming. <laughs> but now we're leaving. Oh. Now we are heading down to 
Lake Wanaka where we are going to be camping for the night because we're going to wake up early and go hike Roy's Peak. <laughs> I keep trying to convince Billy that it'll be better than Mueller Hut because one, it's not as vertical. And two, we're not bringing up all the gear to camp with. Convince yourself. We can actually take turns wearing him and yeah, we just won't be so burdened. We actually had a great time because we met up with some of the friends that we made from Mueller Hut. And so we got together and had ice cream and chips by the lake and it was so beautiful. Ending this day the same way I started it, <laughs> lying in bed with the cool view in the back. Um, it's almost bedtime. And we're staying at a free campground in Wanaka. Oh, there's a layer of my glasses. <laughs> we're gonna go to bed pretty early tonight because we're gonna wake up a little bit early tomorrow morning. Okay, starting our <laughs> new day here. Um, we are all ready to go. It is, what time is it? 7.26. It's 7.26 and we are just starting our first steps on Roy's Peak. I mean, this is the exciting beginning of the path. I think this is kind of what it looks like the whole time, but we're going all the way up there. Good morning. It's pretty nutso to be doing this two days after the Mueller Hut hike. <laughs> About that far. It Not just it. keeps going. It's so beautiful now. Still climbing. Well, we did the picture part of Roy's Peak. I thought that was the end of the hike. So I saw that and I was like, oh, we're done. No, we're not done. We still have another 30 minutes up to the top, but everybody says it's worth it. This is as fast as I go sometimes. Oh, this is as high as she goes. That's where we took our photos down there. That took us almost exactly four hours to get to the top. And that was with stopping and taking photos. And then we also kind of had our lunch on the way up. And we just are turning around and heading back down. We're super slow. We have a baby on our backs. But it should take about two hours to get down. And I think that will be pretty accurate. We keep repeating to ourselves, how on earth did we do this hike? Because <laughs> we're looking up at the top now. And it's just, it's so far away. We've been coming down at a pretty... I mean, not slow pace at all, but I still have a ways to go. I was just saying to Billy, I think it's gonna take me a few days before I say that I'm happy that I did this hike. <laughs> We're just really pooped. Never a more beautiful sight. Well, we, we did, did it. it. We're back in our camper van. <laughs> Looks like I'm wearing a jacket. It's so sweaty. It's not really hot at the end. Um, I'm glad we started when we did because it was fairly cool the whole way. Um, it didn't get hot until kind of the last little bit. Oh, are you so excited to be out of your carrier? <laughs> we got down for the mountain and went and got some smoothies and they were so good. And now we're here. The water is not that cold. So I think I'm gonna get in pretty much just to get all the sweat off my body. <laughs> but yeah. Then we just took it really easy because we're all tired from that hike, so. But other than that, I think we'll probably just end the day here. We left Wanaka this morning and then now we are at a cherry farm. <laughs> I'm so excited. I am a fruit girl. I've never met a fruit that I don't like. Oh. Vroom, vroom. <laughs> <laughs> You gonna pick me some cherries? You keep eating all of mine. 
got the goods. Now we're gonna head off to where are we going now? Oh, we made it to our town. Okay. So apparently this town is really cute and built up because back in the day it was a mining town. And yeah, they just put a lot of character into everything. And now it's just really cutesy and old. I would also like to say that I thought the sand pies weren't that bad. Um, because they were just like a little flea bite and then, you know, no red welts. But we woke up today and we have so many red bites all over. They're so itchy and they're just the worst. So I take it back. I hate sand flies now. I gotta admit, this afternoon was not the best because our little boy was just going insane. <laughs> I think we went about time. It was during nap time. But then we found a really cute little cafe and that really helped him settle down. We bypassed Queenstown and headed straight for Glenorchy. The drive out there was spectacular. We stupidly had another hike planned for this part of the trip, but we were pretty hiked out and done. It's such a far out drive and then it was so peaceful here. It kind of just felt like we were on the edge of the world. I didn't have very high expectations for Glenorchy because all I ever saw from it was just the photos in front of the barn. But it is actually, it was just so peaceful and we really loved our time here. Just got done at Glenorchy, drove back down, and now we're at Bob's Cove track. You're going too fast! You gotta wait for us to catch up. Okay. Hey, you wanna carry it the whole way there? It's just kind of crazy to me because like coming to this lake, we're both kind of like, oh yeah, it's it's really pretty. But because we've seen so many mind-blowingly beautiful things, it's not really as special. Living in New Zealand and seeing all this, it kind of just spoils you and makes it not quite as special. I don't know. Don't get me wrong, I really love it. And it is so pretty. <gasps> Where's William? Where did he go? Whoa, there you are. <laughs> now we're camping right outside of Queenstown for free. It's beautiful. I love it so much. Yeah, we just pulled into this parking lot that says it's okay to camp here as long as you're gone by 8.30 in the morning because it's a business for bungee jumping. Um, so it's a pretty beautiful little spot actually. Airplane? <laughs> wow! We made it to Queenstown. I hate anywhere that doesn't have free parking. We actually did find some free parking though, so I guess I can't say that I hate Queenstown. <laughs> but no, we're planning on walking right over. I don't know if you can see it. Right back there, that's um, the gondola. A lot of people said to do it, and so I think that's what we're planning on, but it's like $44 a person. <laughs> it does sound nice to be locked inside of a box and our baby can't run away. But anyways, yeah, we're heading towards that. I guess we'll make a decision there if we actually want to do it or not. And then after that, we're going to walk over and get a Ferg burger, the famous Ferg burger. Although it is lame because we're vegetarian. So we'll see. And then after that, I think we're done forever with Queenstown. <laughs> I love the surrounding area. It is so beautiful, but this is such a, an expensive place. Are you excited? Woohoo! Hello, sweetie boy. Hey. <gasps> wow! I like how quiet it is. Back down. Well, we're done with the gondola ride. Was it worth it? Probably not. <laughs> but it was pretty fun. It was all enclosed at the top, so it was good for him. And there's a little playground. And. It was fun. We spent like two hours. We spent like two hours up there, so that's pretty good. Now we're going to get a fur burger. <laughs> good. Oh yes. They're massive. <laughs> Billy. Hold them up to your head. Oh. So these are actually really good for veggie burgers. <laughs> They have really good flavor in them, but um, yeah, we got a lot of food and we're going to eat it all. 
we just finished our burgers and fries and onion rings <laughs> and like Billy said it's good to feel American again. Okay, now we're going to, we're gonna drive around Wakatipu and then head over to our campground that is close to Milford Sound because we're going to be doing the cruise tomorrow. Lots of driving. I think it's gonna take about five hours. I can't believe we're actually doing this. The drive-in alone is incredible. For convenience, we actually booked a night at the Milford Sound Lodge and it comes with access to the kitchen and the hot shower, so we definitely use both of those. Good morning! We are rushing off. We're going to head over to the boat cruise. <laughs> so it's a three hour cruise through the Milford Sound and it's the like one that gets you up close to the waterfalls and all the wildlife and everything. So it should be pretty fun and cool. I'm very excited. <laughs> this is one of the, the highlights of the trip for me when we were booking it all. A beautiful day on the fjord, folks. Absolutely stunner. Um, really one out of the bag for Fjordland. And we've got a nice easterly breeze blowing out of the fjord as well. So maybe you'll be drinking directly from that Bowen Falls. Now, folks, the plan of attack this morning is we're going to head over here towards the southern shore of the fjord. We're going to hug the southern shore out to the Tasman Sea. Out there, this cruise was so much fun and absolutely beautiful, but it was a little hectic <laughs> trying to keep our little boy from doing some damage to himself. I would love to come back and do another cruise in a different season because everybody says to come when it's really rainy because all the waterfalls are just gushing and there's so many of them. Well, we just got done with our boat ride and now we're walking back. Gotta say, it was incredible but exhausting. <laughs> Trying to keep this little one happy and not falling off the boat was, um, was a full-time job. We went up then down the stairs to the bathroom probably 600 times. And um, yeah, a little bit glad it's over. Um, but it was so pretty and our cruise Now we're doing the foreshore walk. Might be a mistake because it's in the middle of the afternoon, pretty hot, and, uh, and it's nap time, and also there's sand flies, but <laughs> pushing through, right? So we are done with Milford Sound, and we're going to drive up to Teano and go look at that town a little bit because we just drove right through it. We didn't really stop. So yeah, we're going to go check Teano out and see if there's anything interesting there. Run this little zip line in a park. Okay. Three, two, one. Whoa. I'm gonna drop your phone! <laughs> New Zealand has the best parks, hands down. This one just has these really cool wooden tractors, which is his favorite toy in the whole world. I mean, giant tractors. <laughs> Good morning from Lumsden. Good morning from Lumsden. Um, didn't know this place existed, but we just got up and very slowly got like breakfast and out of bed and everything. Had to play the park again. Now I'm drinking some tea. The Milford Sound Cruise is kind of the last big thing that we had scheduled on our like trip itinerary. And we did that yesterday. And so now it's like, hmm. What do we do? So we have three more days, I think. So we just decided that we're going to drive down to Invercargill today, and then we're gonna go by Gore and Bluff. So Bluff is, let me see if I get this right. Bluff is the southernmost part of the South Island. It's only an hour and a half down there, so I think we're just gonna drive down and see what is there, and then take the day from there. Look at this cool train. <laughs> 
We're in Invercargill right now. We texted a few friends and we're like, hey, we're coming down this direction, anything to do? And a lot of them were like, uh, there's nothing down there. <laughs> But um, we're down here anyways because I want to go to the southernmost point of the South Island. All the little towns that we're driving through are just so cute. They're adorable and they have such a fun little vibe to them. So we're driving through the town and I was just screaming so much at my hometown and it was disturbing. Oh, I just got bit again. On a summer day in the middle of the afternoon and yeah it's a little a little cold for me right now there's gore it's a pretty cute little town we also stopped to get three cheese rolls wow look at these bad boys <laughs> Why is this a thing in New Zealand? I don't understand. Oh, there's something. And then we also got a caramel slice. Is it just cheese and white bread? No, I think we put some like kiwi dip in it. Kiwi dip, potentially, okay. Wow. That is um rich in calories. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. The cheese, is, the cheese is melting out on me. Ah! Gimli, and I'm no, running. No, say what? After Gore, we moseyed on up to Clyde, and we camped that night for free at the Champagne Gully, and it was so beautiful. We spent the morning in Clyde, which is such a cute little town. We had so much fun. And then after that, we headed over to Queenstown and spent the whole day there. We got a lot of yummy food. We had a surprising amount of fun just wandering around and enjoying the city. We decided to camp somewhere special for our very last night in our camper van. We drove up the Crown Range Road and slept there and it was so beautiful. Honestly, one of the highlights of the trip. I actually think I'm gonna end the video here. This has been an amazing two weeks. Um, like everybody has always told us, you could spend so much more time doing all the things that we did. <laughs> and we skipped over a lot of beautiful places, but we definitely have more trips in the future planned. And we're really excited about it. This has been an amazing trip. We've learned a few lessons. Don't think that it was all like pure sunshine the whole time, but it was a very incredible trip. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.